Now let's understand uh, the limitations of uh, statistical significance test. It could be z-test or anything. So as we have discussed earlier, statistical significance does not imply causality. It only indicates a strong probability of observing a relationship between variables that is not due to random chance or sampling variability. I'm repeating again, statistical significance does not imply causality. It only and only indicates a strong probability of observing a relationship between variables that is not due to random chance or sampling variability. Uh, let's explore the limitations of uh, statistical significance test. So to explore the limitations of statistical significance test, let's have a quick look on how do we do the statistical significance test. As we have discussed, we have to use a Z statistic which is related to the sampling distribution. So that's the reason it consists of two terms. One is the top portion is deviation, sample mean minus hypothesized population mean divided by standard error. What do we call this? This we call it as a standard error, which is a uh, uh, which is which will be calculated as sigma divided by square root of n. So the standard error alone does not determine the statistical significance of a a relationship the standard error is a measure of the uncertainty or variability in the coefficient estimate so it represents the average amount or amount that the coefficient estimate is expected to deviate from from the true population value so next the statistical significance z that we will calculate from z after calculate the z score we will calculate the p value so statistical significance is determined by the p value not the standard error so the p value measures the probability of obtaining a coefficient as extreme as the observed one under the assumption that the null hypothesis is uh, uh, true. In the context of regression analysis, the null hypothesis typically assumes no relationship between the feature and the target variables. So, as we have discussed earlier, just I am reiterating, if the p-value is greater than the chosen significant level, example 0 0.05, it suggests that the observed relationship could have occurred due to random chance or sampling variability. This means that this means that we do not have strong evidence to support the existence of a statistically significant relationship between the feature and the target variable. So on the other side the standard error on the other hand helps us understand the precision or reliability of the coefficient estimate a smaller standard error indicates that the estimate is more precise and likely to be closer to the true population value however it does not necessarily imply statistical significance so to determine statistical significance we primarily we primarily rely on the p value if the p value is below the significance level t 
typically set at 0.05, it suggests that the observed relationship is unlikely to have occurred due to random chance alone. So, and we have a stronger evidence to support the existence of a statistically significant relationship between the feature and the target variable. So, the p-value helps us, the p-value helps us determine whether there is a evidence to support the presence of a relationship between the feature and the target variable. So, it measures the probability of obtaining a coefficient as extreme as the observed one under the assumption that there is no true relationship between the feature and the target variable. That's the null hypothesis is uh, true. So, in the context of regression analysis that we have done and most of you will be doing, the null hypothesis typically assumes that the coefficient of the feature is zero. Again, I'm repeating, in the context of regression analysis, the null hypothesis typically assumes that the coefficient of the feature is zero, indicating no relationship between the feature and the target variable. The alternative hypothesis assumes that there is a non-zero coefficient indicating the presence of a relationship. This is very, very important aspect to write an hypothesis equations uh, when you begin with uh, uh, a regression equation or linear regression or polynomial. Uh, one a null hypothesis where we believe there is no relationship between the feature and the target variable. On other side, alternative hypothesis, which assumes that there is a non-zero coefficient indicating the presence of a relationship. When we calculate the p-value, we are essentially evaluating the likelihood of observing the estimated coefficient or even more extreme value if the null hypothesis is true. So, if the p-value is small, typically below the significance level, example 0 0.05, it indicates that it indicates that the observed coefficient is unlikely to occur by a random chance alone when there is no relationship between the feature and the target variable. In other words, in other words, as a small p-value, a p-value which is lesser than 0 0.0y, 0 0.05, a small p-value suggests that the observed relationship is statistically significant and provides evidence against the null hypothesis. It indicates that there is a low probability of observing such a strong relationship between the feature and the target variable if there is a truly no relationship in the population. Conversely, if the p-value is large, uh, if the p-value is greater than chosen significance level, which is 0 0.05, if the p-value is large, uh, if p-value is greater than uh, chosen uh, significance level, it suggests that the observed relationship could have occurred by random chance even if there is no true relationship in the population. In such cases, we do not have sufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis and conclude that 
there is a statistically significant relationship between the feature and the target variable so it is important to note that p value alone does not provide information about the magnitude or practical significance of the relationship it only helps us assess the statistical evidence for the presence of a relationship other factors such as effect size domain knowledge and practical considerations should also be considered when interpreting the significance of the relationship okay now it's time to explore uh, specifically the limitations of a statistical significance test so we cannot confidently claim that the feature has a meaningful impact on the target variable when the statistical analysis does not provide a strong support for a relationship between the feature and the target variable so this lack of confidence stems from the following reasons one lack of statistical significance when the p value which measures the probability of observing a relationship as strong as one observed under the null hypothesis is greater than the chosen significance level example 0.05 it indicates that the observed relationship could have occurred due to random chance or sampling variability so this means that the relationship between the feature and the target variable is not statistically significant and we do not have strong evidence to support its existence then what we have here is uh, uncertainty in the estimate so if the confidence interval for the coefficient associated with the feature is a wide or includes zero it suggests a high a degree of uncertainty in the estimate this indicates that the observed relationship could vary substantially if we were to collect another sample from the population so the lack of precision in the estimate further undermines the confidence in claiming a meaningful impact so the third limitation is insufficient sample size insufficient sample size in some cases the sample size may be too small to detect a meaningful relationship between the variables with limited data the statistical power to detect significant effects is reduced so consequently even if there is a true relationship between the feature and the target variable in the population it may not be evident or statistically significant in the observed sample and the fourth limitation that we have here is other factors at play so the lack of uh, statistical significance does not necessarily imply the absence of a practical or a real world relationship between the feature and the target variable it could be that there are other factors or variables not included in the analysis that are influencing the relationship so failure to account for these factors or include them in the analysis can lead to a lack of support or the features impact on the target variable so in summary the lack of the lack of uh, support or confidence 
in claiming a meaningful impact of the feature on the target variable arises when the statistical analysis does not provide strong evidence for a significant relationship it highlights the limitations of the observed data and need for further investigation or consideration of additional factors to draw definitive conclusions about the features impact